In this video, we're going to wire in a combination circuit. In this combination circuit, we will um, be able to see loads in series and also in parallel and see how the system will be affected by having a combination circuit. We have the power source here, and we're going to put two bulbs in series and two bulbs in parallel with each other. And we're going to see how this circuit will react with each other. We're going to start with the uh, the neutral side. We'll start changing from the hot side, and we're going to jump through, come out of first ball, go into the second ball. Now we have a series circuit. Now I would still like to put uh, it in parallel the next two bulbs. So we're going to come out of the power source. The first bulb will be in parallel. We're going to go to the next bulb and put it the same power source from the hot, from the power source to the first bulb to the second bulb, so we receive the same voltage. Now we're going to go to the neutral side, go into the first bulb, come out of the first ball and go to the second ball. Now these two bulbs are in parallel with each other. These two bulbs are in series. So when I turn the power source on, we're going to look to see how it will affect each other. Now if you look at it, these two bulbs are glowing very brightly. These two bulbs are uh, dim, but if I take off the power source from one of these bulbs, these two will go dead because in a series circuit, if you open up any of the loads, you will kill the whole complete circuit. Put it back, you see it will glow. Different with a um, parallel circuit, each branch line is individual from each other. So if I take the power off of it, only the bulb that I disconnected will go out, and the other one as a parallel will continue to glow. So this is a series parallel circuit, or what we call a combination circuit. And so this is the most common type of circuit we find. In HVAC, what you normally would find is combination circuits where the loads will be in parallel and the switches will be in series of the load. So in that case, you'll be able to have a combination circuit.